with the KTN News. Well, we'll hear the plight of Kenyans is the question tonight. But then top government officials are on the spotlight following the massive power blackout that engulfed the entire country for more than 12 hours. Energy Cabinet Secretary David Chirchir, his transport counterpart Kipchumba Murkomen, and Kenya Power CEO Joseph Siror have been left on the receiving end after the power outage plunged homes, businesses and airports into total darkness. Enraged Kenyans on social media are asking, how did this happen? And most importantly, who slept on the job while Kenya grappled with his major power crises? And as KTN's Daniel Kariuki reports, the happenings come days after President William Ruta said some of his teammates were clueless. Friday night, Kenya reported a major power outage that saw the entire country plunge into darkness for more than 12 hours. A crisis that left the nation in turmoil and unprecedented power outage that gripped homes, businesses and critical services sending shockwaves throughout the country. For hours, East Africa's largest international airport, JKIA, was plunged into darkness, causing flights to be grounded. The outage affected millions, leaving them without electricity and prompting one crucial question, who is accountable for the colossal failure? Among those put on the spot are cabinet secretaries in charge of energy, Davis Chirchir, Transport CS Kipchumba Morkomen, as well as Kenya Power CEO Joseph Siror. They are the center of a storm that has gotten Kenyans demanding answers. Just weeks ago, President William Ruto had them sign performance contracts, raising expectations that such incidents would not be experienced. The president expressed frustration warning against incompetence in his administration. But Friday's power crisis seems to have exposed the very issue he spoke about. Many of you, the people I speak to, don't even know what is going on in your ministries or departments. You have very scanty information. The moment I know more than you in your ministry, then you must begin to understand that something is very wrong. I call many, many PSs. You ask them what's going on here. They have no clue. You are supposed to advise me. Explain to me how you are going to advise me if you have less information than I do. Even more is the fact that President Ruto made an impromptu visit to JKIA and was briefed on what has been ongoing at the airport and major developments and services taking place. Never mind, he was being briefed of matters transportation, but the man in charge, Kipchumba Morkomen, was not there. He was taken round the JKIA by none other than Alex Gitari, the Kenya Airport's authority boss, who has now been shown the door. Kenyans lost millions due to the power outage. Businesses were grounded to a halt and livelihoods were left at stake. Enraged Kenyans, especially on social platforms, are demanding to know why such a crippling event, seen as a threat to the national security, was allowed to occur. Just what happened? Who is to blame? How can an international airport such as JKIA fall into darkness? For the millions of shillings lost in businesses, who will shoulder the burden? Who was at the helm when the lights went out? Who slept on the job? Was it a failure of oversight, a lapse in planning, or perhaps an indication of a much deeper problem within the system? Though the Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchuma Murkomen announced the firing of Kenya Airports Authority Managing Director Alex Gitari and apologized to Kenyans for the mess, is it enough? How about the other energy-related agencies? And perhaps last but not least, the energy CS Davis Chirchir has given a statement on what happened. Has he ensured that this will not happen again? Has any action been taken against heads of these agencies? Kenya Power? Daniel Karioki, KTN News, Nairobi.